Hey everyone, this is Rodney with Taylor KC. Thought I'd make you guys a quick video on Google Stadia streaming game service since it's now on iOS. Even though it's been out for over a year, it's just now making its way over to iOS, but not in the conventional way going through the App Store. Uh, if you are aware, Apple's policies really don't allow for Stadia or Microsoft xCloud type of uh, apps to really live on the App Store. So Google had to come up with a workaround, and that's basically making the other uh, website kind of like a progressive web app. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, pop in to my iPad Pro. Uh, let's bring that up here. All right. So in Safari, once you're on the other uh, Google Stadia website and... As Google says, you should have uh, iOS 14.3 or greater. Um, you need a, a Stadia account, and they are free. If you don't want to buy any games, there is a free tier that allows for unlimited playing. There are a couple free games. I think Destiny 2 is one of those free games. Uh, they say there's more coming in the uh, in the future. So uh, once you're uh, you're there on the other website. It'll look something similar to this, but possibly not logged in yet. But what you'll want to do is go to that share button on the top right of your Safari browser or in your, your iPhone as well. You'll scroll down to the Add to Home Screen button. Once that's selected, you see it has a uh, little Stadia logo, uh, the name, and the URL already placed in. You'll click Add, and that'll put it on the, uh, the desktop for you. I've seen some problems or reports of people saying it, it doesn't work or it'll tell them to install Chrome. Uh, I've also seen some people say just give it a little bit of time and it will work. I did not have any problems with it myself. Uh, as you can see here, I have my Stadia, Amazon Luna, and PS Remote Play. Three remote streaming services that I'm really liking right now. Uh, but once you pop in the Stadia and you're, uh, you're logged in, it's going to prompt you to uh, to link a controller and you can play with a PS4 controller, an Xbox controller, a few other uh, controllers. You can also grab the Stadia controller from Google. But once you're linking that, you'll just go ahead and click that controller button in the, uh, the top right. It'll give you a code. Uh, you'll turn on your, usually your, if doing your uh, your Stadia controller, that's what I'm using. You'll put in that code. Let me see. A over X A. All right. It'll vibrate to let you know it's been connected. Sometimes it takes a moment. Let's see if it works. All right. There we go. All right. Once the controller's connected, uh, these are some of the games I have in my library. Uh, Assassin's Creed. Destiny 2, the, the free one there. Jedi Fallen Order, uh, Xenoverse. So I do have a, a few games uh, in their store here. There are a lot of other games uh, available. And one game I'm thinking about grabbing is Cyberpunk. Uh, because what I'm hearing that it uh, that it actually runs really well without any bugs or problems through the, uh, the Google Stadia service. So that may be something I look at, at getting. But let's just go ahead and uh, pop into a game here. Let's see if we can jump into something. Let's see. Assassin's Creed. All right. Loading times, as you can see, are not too bad. And on the iPad Pro's 12.9-inch uh, screen, I think that's what it is. It's, uh, it's pretty nice. All right, so we're just waiting for this to, uh, to load. Might cut out some of this loading time here, you know. Alright. 
still loading, so we'll, we'll definitely see there. I like trying the Discovery Tour. That way we can pop in and you all can see a little bit of the other uh, gameplay. Or what the game looks like. Really like going through the uh, hints or historical facts on this game. That's the best thing about these Assassin Creed games. Alright. So, like I said, gameplay is pretty pretty smooth. Let's just run around here. Looks pretty pretty good on the other tablet. Let's look at the noise. Detail is pretty nice. Nothing really too laggy or anything on the other uh, games that I've run into. Let's pop back into and exit the game. You can do all that with the uh, the controller. Jump in the Destiny 2. So these games run pretty uh, pretty smooth. Loading times are pretty typical. Not a big Destiny player, but since it was free, how could I turn it down? Waiting on a little loading time, yeah, yeah, load for me. All right, maybe doesn't remember that I've played this before. I don't know. All right, so jumping into your destiny. This place is an old cosmodrome, a Russian spaceport. It's quarantined now. It's quarantined now and quite dangerous. But our only way forward is through that wall. Okay. Ghost. All right, as you can see, yeah, it runs pretty, pretty smooth, not too bad. Looks pretty great on the screen. Definitely something you can do. Now, I really haven't tried outside of the house and off of my Wi-Fi so I'll definitely have to give that a try, playing over Verizon's 5G, if it's what that looks like. Uh, but again, you can do this also on your uh, your iPhone using the uh, the same method. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see some, some video of that as well. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Have a great one.